In the closing 28 runner cavalry charge that made up the Vincent O'Brien County Handicap Hurdle, there was an extraordinary gamble on fair along. Runner up in the Arkle Chase here on Tuesday, he was sent off at an amazing 3 to 1 market leader. As they run down towards the second last, and it's still Ozana who's got a very fast pace from Maryland. Baron de Fapo out wide, fair along and whisper promises. Kawagino and Calo late chasing these. Arcalis continues to make good progress along with Premier Dane and Pedro Bob is now staying on from the rear in a yellow jacket as they landed over the second last. It's still Ozana from Maryland. Baron de Fapo under the whip. Kawagino chasing these, but Ozana making a very bold bid to make all the run here chased by Marilyn in second place Kawagino Callow Lake is next then Baron de Fapo running on well is sweet weight now in a green and yellow jacket with a white cap and out wide is the grey Arcalis Unin Poger is closing from the rear under Ruby Walsh they go towards the last Ozana's got company now Arcalis comes through for Racciola there as well and Unin Poger with a beautifully timed run up the near side they make their way up the hill sweet weight far side Unin Poger near side Arcalis then Kawajina, Premier Dane is taking off, so too Pe Pedro Bob, they race up towards the line, Unin Poge on the near side, Pedro Bob forging through, Pedro Bob will win, Pedro Bob beats Unin Poge and Premier Dane fighting it out for second, then Kawajino in fourth, followed by Arcalis and Sweetweight. A pulsating finish to end the festival, with Pedro Bob giving the Irish just their fifth winner of the week. But it wasn't easy for any punter, whichever side of the Irish Sea you came from. Just five outright favourites obliged in 24 races. Here's Alistair Down to look back.